It's spring. Got my winter legs on me. Yeah. Catch a good perspective from up there. I'm not out of breath. You're out of breath. Everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood pond king. Today we're doing something pretty fun. We get a clean out project number 21 from 2019. But wait, there's more. We get to add a cool waterfall to it. So the client was like, you know, I'd really like to add a little waterfall to it. And we said, hey, guess what? Aquascape just had this mini waterfall diffuser come out this season, and we're really excited to try it. We were at the pond company getting an order to prep for the coming up week, and all of a sudden the truck came in a day early holding our products that we needed to put in this waterfall. So today Today we're going back to project number 21. Remember how tight that access was? If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. It's pretty fun to watch. So go check out that episode now. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. Smash it. Bam, 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 bam. Tell your friends about us. We're having fun. We're only getting better at this. And we're going to show you today how we always say our packages are expandable. And today we're going to expand on one of our packages. We're adding a second pump. We're adding another starting point and a waterfall that's going to be a little bit more closer and intimate to the home, throwing an even more sound towards the front. So that's what we're doing today. We got the team together. It's the first time we got the band back together all year. Oh, you ready for construction season, Mark? Oh yeah, man, let's build. Yeah, <laughs> get me outside. That's my man. Oh, it's good to have you back. Get me outside? You said get me outside. Right? I said get me outside. <laughs> Brad, how you feeling? I feel good, I'm well rested. Yeah, that deck turned out great, man. Thank you. Ah, Justin? Yeah, you know, he's one of many words. Feels good. Feels good. <laughs> All right, we get to back to work. It's pond building season, baby. 2020 starts soon. All right, so it's our first day back at Rock Hard, and it's so fun to see all our friends from over the that we haven't seen since last year. They've been doing good over the winter, and uh, we're back just picking out boulders. Brad and I have got a couple real cool ones picked out for this little waterfall we're getting ready to build. Got to be stuff we can move by hand with that ball cart up staircases in Minneapolis. So it is all cool boulders, pretty pick. They look great. So we're gonna be moving those boulders up into that backyard in Minneapolis and making a waterfall. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you a cool little waterfall. We got handyman being handy with his hands, moving things by hand. Boom, here, I'll take one since you got it. I got the camera. Here, I'll take that one too, throw that guy on there. Yeah. Not too bad with one hand. Woo. Look at that nicely painted trailer. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, wheelbarrow loaded. And now let's go clean that pond and build another waterfall. Hey, 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 we're here at Project 21 from 2019. Really excited. Today we're gonna add that waterfall right in there right where that dream rock is. It's gonna start trickling in. Then we're gonna kind of build our way up into that hillside. It's gonna look fantastic. The video just does not do it justice. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but we brought in 15 to 20 tons of boulders on this project and gravel and then mulch and dirt and stuff like that. And when you're looking at the video, it doesn't look as substantial as it does when you're actually here. I mean, some of these boulders are humongous. Real anchor blocks. I mean, some really cool stuff. So we hope to have some waterfall running for you by the late end of the day here. We're gonna get started. All right, we're just gonna do our normal clean out before we get to the waterfall build part. So Brad has drained it for us and then we will uh, hook up our pressure washer and start pressure washing and flushing this out and filling it back up, hooking up their pumps. Brad also got all that mulch taken out care of. So we're getting ready to also build a waterfall. Packages that we put in, we always like to try and make expandable. So we're gonna show you how to expand on a waterfall that are already existing and what you might need. You ready to see this? All right, in this case, you're gonna need a pump. We like Aquascape. We especially like the Aqua Surge line because of its adjustability. So in this case, we're gonna be using that pump. It'll fit in nicely in the skimmer next to the original pump. We're gonna use the waterfall spill aid. These just came out this year. I'm really excited by it. Look how small that is. It allows for up to 4,000 gallons an hour to come through that base, that, that opening. Perfect for hiding cool little waterfalls throughout your feature. Gonna be using these a lot more. Gonna need a check valve. Why? Super easy to take on and off in the spring and fall. And then it's also to check to make sure that that never causes any leak, the plumbing. And then you need liner. So we are going to take those components, a little bit of waterfall foam. We're gonna take your rock. 
some boulder, some gravel, some black dirt, and we're gonna turn that into a waterfall. All right, let's get to it. In this case, they wanted to have a little extra water flow, even though we built it last year. They said, you know what? I would like to kind of fill in this spot a little more with some moving water. And we said, absolutely, we can certainly do that, especially since Aquascape just released the new mini diffuser. So we're really excited. We're gonna add some beauty to their home. So when they get to come home, they get to hear that sound of running water. This thing's gonna be awesome. And in the addition we're doing here, we're adding two underwater lights too. So things are gonna be really fantastic. All right, everyone, talk soon. All right, so update time. We just got done finished pressure washing everything. Brad's doing a little flushing of the gravel. We're gonna get any of that dirt that was still in there from construction out. There's not too much excess nutrients in this one. It looked pretty good. Didn't even have a full net worth of garbage to take out. That's always great. And that's just sitting there. So now Brad's just doing the flushing. We'll plug it in and drain it one more time. Then we'll uh, drain the skimmer off. And then we'll work on our waterfall and build a waterfall. All right, that's the update. It's spring. Got my winter legs on me. Ugh. Catch a good perspective from up there. I'm not out of breath. You're out of breath. What do you think? Should we go get the last one? Update time. So we've gotten the rock put together. The waterfall's looking sweet. We're gonna have to trim liner, hide liner. We got a lot of mulch to do that with. Got some extra dirt to play with. But we're gonna have the waterfall coming in from there and twisting and turning some white water effect coming in. We've got the pumps put together. So that's what I mean when we talk about expansion. That's as much as we can expand on this skimmer. Now there is an upgradable pump where we could take it from the two to 4,000 to the four to eight, but then we're really pushing the limits of what this skimmer can handle. Had to custom drill in a excess overflow, which Brad is working on hooking up right now. That's whenever you have too much rainwater, you gotta have a way for that to escape the skimmer so that this skimmer doesn't upheave and move on you. We're just filling it. We're gonna start working towards cleaning up, doing our last fixing, uh, hooking up of this pipe, and then we'll be uh, showing you what the waterfall looks like, and then we'll get to say, check this out yet again. All right, so I'm just hiding the last one watt light here because I didn't want to include an upgrade without having an under, another outer, underwater light but I am stretched out, you know, and I do get to move my body in a lot of ways, even though I look not thin. I still am mobile and agile. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be awesome. <laughs> so yeah, so we just, you know, we get to get it in coolest positions. You get to move your body a lot and it's awesome. At the end of the day, you feel like you actually earned that rest when you take your rest and get ready for the next day. And then the next day I just get really excited because I get to work with a lot of people I like and I get to do something I like. It doesn't get much better than that. So if you're thinking of a career change, I really recommend getting into water features. If you're in Minnesota, you can definitely give us a call, but it's very hard to get on our team. So if you uh, think you got what it takes, give us a call and uh, we'll, we'll try and find that out. And then you talk to Justin. <laughs> You won't talk to me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna plug it in and check it out. Check this out.
In next week's episode, we get to return to one of our favorite clients. He's helped us with our pond business. He's helped us with our painting business. And now he's helping us by letting us expand our services. You'll get to see what Brad the Handyman is capable of when he takes apart a deck and replaces the boards. It turns out fantastic. And then we'll get to show off the awesome work we did on their koi pond and just how beautiful his koi are. It's going to be a fun episode. Make sure to tune in. Sponsored by Pond King Water Gardens. Living works of art, one yard at a time.